Hey everyone, Cookie here. I have for you a CSR44 Regicide gameplay on Adrift. You will notice that right off the bat, I'm going to spawn in basement and I run for the snipe. Whenever you run for the snipe right off the bat, you best be sure to check other people rushing the snipe and that guy was in the hallway weak. Unfortunately, the overshield guy decides that he wants the snipe as well. So he rushes me, I end up getting him pretty weak, but he takes me out, and you will notice what I do right off the bat. I rush in for the other snipe. And I end up almost taking that guy out, but I am going to do pretty much the same thing. I take out this true beast guy, I pre-nade, two pre-nades, on snipe spawn, and I rush in. The reason I'm going to snipe spawn right off the bat is because there is a lot of traffic. Uh, at both snipe spawns on a drift. So on Haven, I told you that the place to be is bottom mid because people are always there. While on a drift, the places to be are both of the snipe spawns. So I definitely recommend going there. Pretty, you could pretty much go there every single time you spawn. You can rush towards a snipe spawn, and you will always see people there. Uh, you know, if you're good and you hit your shots and everything, you know, you, you'll probably win the game. So it's a strategy, it's very simple, but it's the place to be on a drift, and you'll notice that I go there very frequently. So, right now, I know that the king is pretty weak from our previous fight, so I lift over, try to take him out. Right here, I decide to rush. It's a questionable move because you may think that he has some pre-nades on me. The reason I decided to rush was because I realized he was super weak. And if I did rush in, the best he could do is get me no shields from a grenade. But I was confident that I was able to get the kill before he completely killed me. And that's why I decided to rush in. So as you can see right here, I'm just defending uh, snipe spawn. People are coming basement. I check the hallway. And you'll notice that I'm just kind of patrolling back and forth. There really isn't a reason to go anywhere. And eventually people will come to you if you are on snipe spawn. So a snipe ends up spawning, I pick it up, and there's someone who ends up trying to shoot the guy who's pursuing me. This is pretty... I play pretty badly right here. I try to no-scope perhaps too much with the snipe. What I should have done from the beginning of this fight is just pull out my BR. I probably would have ended up killing that guy had I pulled out my BR in the beginning, but, you know, that's just a mistake that... A lot of people tend to make with snipe and I definitely fall prey to. So you'll notice this other snipe is up. I want to go for that obviously. And this is the type of map where if you pick up snipes throughout the game you will, you can do pretty well. Small maps you don't really want to pick up snipe like um, what's that one map? Dispatch you don't want to pick up snipe just because it has so much cover. But on this game if you pick up snipe there isn't much cover when you look down both hallways. So it is a power weapon on this map, and I definitely recommend picking it up whenever you come across it. And even when you don't pick it up, just, you know, go to snipe spawn, because chances are there are people there. You'll notice, once again, I spawn. What do I do immediately? I pre-nade and clean up a kill on snipe. I end up getting a few BR shots on this guy, but he takes me out. And I notice overshield is up, so I rush in for it. Unfortunately, there's someone that beats me to it. And I don't want to challenge this, so I try to, to, you know, just keep my distance, but I end up getting shot from behind. So right here, you, you really don't want to give up high ground, but you don't want to play too passively on Rumble Pit. So it's really important to, you know, whenever you're weak, you want to make sure you recover your shields, but it's really important to constantly be playing aggressively in Rumble Pit. What I'm trying to do right now is wait for people to spawn bottom base. Usually people do spawn bottom base, but I got pretty impatient, so I end up trying to move in for people. I get a King Tacular, so I get an overshield, and it allows me to clean up two kills. This guy ends up lifting. This is a pretty bad play on my part, too. I think, you know, he can't be too... he can't have too much shield, so I just decide to rush in thinking I can get the kill, but I end up getting sniped twice. That was a good play on his part. And, uh, you don't want to... you don't want to push unnecessarily on those lifts like I did, so don't follow that example. And I spawn by snipe, and I pick up the snipe, and... 
like every time I'm at snipe spawn, people are there to rush in. This guy gets two really nice nades on me. I'm weak, I can't really do much. I get a nice nade on him because someone's weakening him. And I end up taking him out, but I ended up getting taken out as well. So you'll notice the same strategy every time I spawn. I pre-nade snipe and I rush in right away. Almost every time I get a kill when I rush in to snipe. So this play is one of my favorite plays in this match. To you it may have just seemed like I tried to ninja a random guy, but I actually thought this through. So I'll fast forward, I ended up taking out this stone shot guy. Right here I noticed to my left that there was an overshield up. And after I push through this hallway, I'm going to want to go for the overshield. And then right there I noticed someone takes the overshield. And I also noticed someone's playing pretty aggressively. Why would he be playing that aggressively? And why would he be coming up on me on my radar so quickly unless he was the guy who had overshield and unless he was playing aggressively? I know if I turn around and I challenge this guy, I'm not going to win this fight. So what I do is I just wait around this this uh, wall and I end up ninjaing him. He clearly didn't expect that play. Um, he was just rushing in playing super aggressively like he should have with the overshield. But I'm going to play that one more time for you. I noticed there's overshield. I notice it's gone, a guy's rushing in for me, I know I can't beat him if I challenge him face to face, so I end up trying to go for the ninja, and I take him out. Good play on my part, good awareness. And, you know, it, it just shows, like, you should always be aware of what weapons are up, when the snipe's up, when the OS is up, and just always keep track of that. So, right here, I realize I only need one more kill. So I'm just playing, trying to play a little bit more aggressively. End up slide jumping out of this guy's way. And he kind of ducks out of cover, tries to survive. Ended up cleaning him up right there. And I thrust it back to keep myself on the map. Anyway, that was a CSR 44 gameplay on Adrift. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe if you have not already. Um, let me know what other types of gameplays you want to see, or if you enjoy the Regicide and Rumble Pit FFA type gameplays. I know the Snipe videos are pretty popular, and I plan on getting you more Snipe gameplays. And uh, that is all, so see you later.